That's Faro. It's a nine pound Maltese. I brought a crate out here. I'm gonna feed them this. This is half of a chicken leg quarter. I cut it in half and he's gonna eat it. Now, Faro was a very picky eater. He was, he's not anymore. He isn't, he's on raw diet. Don't, don't feed pet food to your dogs. It's a, it causes a pandemic among our canines. It's unhealthy. They're a carnivore. They need zero carbs. So why are all the carbs in pet food? For the pet food companies to make money. Do you see him looking at this chicken? He's gonna eat this. This was a guy that wouldn't eat his food and his owners were, you know, trying to get him to eat because he's real skinny. He's not that skinny anymore. So they put turkey and stuff like that on top. Don't do that because that's making the dog food unbalanced. And the turkey that you're putting on there doesn't have the proper amount of calcium. So we're gonna, let's give him this and let, let, let's see him eat it. I bet he eats it. Now, most people do feed raw diet to the dogs in crates or outside. Because you, you, don't, you don't want the dog, see he's going right for it. You don't want the dog um, taking the, the raw chicken and putting it on your couch. You know, you don't. You don't, you, you, don't, you know, this keeps it in one spot. You can, if you have a yard, you could, a lot of people feed raw diet in the yard. But look, look at how the dog goes right for it. This is seriously a picky eater, or was a picky eater. And um, he's just, he's not anymore. This is, this is a really healthy thing for a dog to eat, which is raw bone-in chicken. Don't, don't feed pet food to your cat or your dog. It's a terrible thing to do. It, it's, it's not healthy for your dog. You want a healthy, happy dog? Feed him a raw diet. If, if you're worried about salmonella, this is the truth. This chicken is inoculated. Why it's, th these chickens, they're inoculated while they're in the egg, so they're not going to have salmonella. The chances of that are, like, really slim. How would that happen? So that's, that's, not, that's, not the, that's not an issue. Chicken is a very healthy thing to give your dog. And I, ju I just picked up the chicken at Walmart. And I want you all to know this about chicken. Speaking of people that say ridiculous things about having their dog on raw diet, the other day I was contacted by somebody that said, I can't get my dog raw diet because it'll cost too much. And I said, chicken at Walmart for a bag this big, this 10 pound bag is about six bucks, you know? And then they came back with, yeah, but I want to feed my, I don't want to feed my dog chicken that's given a bunch of antibiotics. And I said, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. What, what, are, what are you fucking care anyway? You'd rather feed your dog pet food with a bunch of chemicals in it and preservatives, right? You're making excuses. You are making excuses, right? And one thing that I've never talked about is the chicken at Walmart. This, this chicken, no antibiotics ever. It's cage-free chicken, no antibiotics. You're just making up excuses. There's no reason that you can't have your dog on a raw diet. It's absurd. All vegetarian diet, it says too. Don't put your dog or cat on a vegetarian diet. They're, they're both carnivores. And if you're saying, well, chicken bones are, are bad for dogs. No, this is raw chicken bones. Cooked chicken bones and any cooked bone is bad for a dog. It splinters. It can put your dog in the hospital. But raw, that's what the that's what dogs eat. You know, go ahead, eat, eat, Pharaoh. You're doing great. I mean, I got I got the camera like right right on him. It's it's not really well. It is bothering him a little bit. Keep eating, brother. But that that is, that is not a picky eater. He's not anymore. Look, look at him. Look, look at him. He's going to town. He's like a little wolverine. He's a wolf. You know, dogs are a subspecies of the wolf. 
So you feed your dog like a wolf. A lot of these dogs, all dogs that work with me, they're all put on a raw diet. There's a slight behavioral change. It's slight, but it, it's, it's worth it. My hand is right in there, right, right by where he's eating. It doesn't bother him. I'm telling you, if your dog isn't on raw diet, it should be. It should be. You have no, what, what are your excuses? That it's, it's too expensive? 10 pounds of chicken leg quarters at Walmart is six bucks. That would probably feed this dog for, let's see. I don't know. Let's see. 20 days, something like that. So, so on raw, you could feed a dog this size for about 10 bucks a month. What, what, what's, what's your excuse? A antibiotic, you, you, you don't want chicken that's given antibiotics, get it at Walmart. There's no reason, to, no one should be using pet food. The only reason why people want to use pet food is convenience. You are a good little man. You're a good, you're filthy, dude. We gotta give you a bath. It's my baby man. I get this call from this guy in Florida. You know, he starts out like, you know, I wanna put my dog on raw diet. I was just trying to see if you had some ideas. I fucking work, okay? If you're gonna contact somebody, you contact them by email and then they can tell you to fuck off. You don't contact them by the, but you're calling someone's number to ask them for ideas. I don't even know you. I have no idea who this asshole is. You know, he don't want to pay for a Skype consultation. That's for sure. He just thinks, oh, I'll just call up this guy I saw on YouTube and, and he'll give me ideas for raw diet. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Seriously? Did, did you get dropped on your head when you were a kid? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, this is, this is a true story. Yesterday I had somebody contact me that said, this is, this is true. That said that they had, have three Rottweiler puppies, all male being shipped to them. And that they, they want to, um, put the puppies on raw diet. And once again, this wasn't anybody saying, you know, can I do a Skype consultation? This was somebody with an email with like, you know, it would have taken me minutes to read what they wrote. Three puppies. Let me, let me, let me tell you flat out. I, I told this person, I almost called her a dumb cunt. Um, you don't get two puppies. You don't get three, definitely. You get one puppy. The only time that anybody should be getting more than one puppy as a professional trainer and it never should be puppies from the same litter you need to split those puppies up so she's getting three male dogs from the same litter this is an idiot she she doesn't know what she's doing from the same litter three male rottweilers which are known that's an aggressive breed just ridiculous. I, I told her, I said, oh, so you're getting three, three Wildweiler puppies shipped to you. Shipped. She's having them shipped. I said, you, you are, you know, I'm not going to go off. Just listen. Don't ever try and adopt two dogs or buy two dogs. Get one puppy, get that trained, and then get another dog. Don't get two at the same time. They, they never get trained. They always have a mess and never under any circumstance 
get two puppies from the same litter. You want you want the dog to be a mess? I guarantee you the three Roddies, the puppies that are coming, somebody's gonna get mauled. Somebody's gonna get mauled or this woman that can't keep her emotions together, that's what it is, like, oh, I don't wanna split up the babies. She can't keep her shit together. She's she's gonna get the get the puppies, they're gonna find out, you know, she's gonna find out that it's miserable. Either she's gonna, you know, get rid of a couple of them or she might end up getting rid of all of them or she might just keep them, this is the truth, and just be miserable and the dogs have a miserable fucking life. What a jerk. I, mean, I, I just don't get it. Like, what, what, you people that think that it's okay to just, like, what do you think? Because I love dogs that I'm going to love you and that I want to spend time talking to you about dogs, which I make my livelihood doing. You, you think that I'm just going to, oh, oh, yeah, sure. Let me, let me help you, right? I got shit to do and I have paying fucking customers, okay? Do you understand that the Rottweiler woman totally is off of a rocker, clearly. She is. And she has no common sense. She thinks that it's okay to call a professional and just ask, ask for advice. Like, you know, well, she emailed. But, like, she thinks that I have time to, like, oh, yeah, let, let me spend hours with this lady talking about the diet plan for her puppy for free. It's fucking unbelievable, you know? No wonder four million dogs are dying every year because there's assholes like this that just don't know what they're doing. They make the stupidest mistake getting more than one puppy. It's enough to train one dog. That is enough to train one dog. I guarantee you it's a lot of work. And people can't train one dog. So what makes you think the novice person that has no experience, you getting three puppies, you're gonna be able to pull it off. You're never gonna, how are you gonna have time for that? How, how are you gonna have time for that? And you don't know what you're doing. It's fucking unbelievable. It is, it's, it's fucking unbelievable.